Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and welcome to your 15th Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the do while loop. Now, in this one, it's going to be required that you've seen the previous tutorial because I'm going to be building off of that. Now you can see here, um, I have the while loop that we created from the previous tutorial. Now I'll just go ahead and explain this really quickly, uh, just in case it's been a while since you've seen it. So here we've created a variable called x and we set it equal to zero. Now we created our while loop by using the while keyword and inside of our arguments we want to do the loop as long as x is less than 20. So once x is equal to 20 or greater than 20 then go ahead and exit this loop. And each time the loop iterates we're going to add 3 to x by using x plus equals 3. And once we've done that we're just going to go ahead and write that out to the console so that we can see what's going on. So let's go ahead and create a do while loop out of this. So to create a do while loop, what you need to do is start off with the keyword do. Now I'll go ahead and explain this um, in a second. And down after your um, loop, you're going to add your while statement. So we'll do while x is less than 20. And we need to end that with a semicolon. So this is what this does. It looks and it sees the keyword do here. So that says ignore this condition right here. It doesn't matter um, what this condition is. Just go ahead and run through this code one time no matter what. So x could be equal to 5,000 and it would still run through this once and then get down here and it would exit. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see we're going to get pretty much the same output as we did before just by using the normal while loop. You can see it starts out with 3, goes all the way to 21. Now, let's go ahead and change this to something greater than 20. So let's just say x is equal to uh, 23. So what it's going to do is it's going to see this do keyword right here and run this no matter what. And then it's going to get down here this conditional statement, uh, which is x is less than 20. And it's going to say, oh, x is equal to 20 or greater. So go ahead and move on to this line right here, which is console.readLine. So let's go ahead and run this. You can see it ran once no matter what because we used do. Now, this is useful for a number of things. Um, first off, it's got the while capabilities. So it can possibly run this as many times as it needs to get a task done. And it also will run it no matter what. So if we just started off with while x is less than 20 and x was already greater than 20, it would just completely skip over that code um, automatically. And this also um, prevents us from having to rewrite code. So if there was no such thing as a do while loop, what we would have to do is we would have to copy this code, paste it right here, and then because there's no such thing, there would be, hypothetically speaking, there's no such thing as a do while loop, we would have to do while x is less than 20. So this is pretty much the equivalent of the do, do while loop. It runs it once no matter what, and then if x is less than 20, then it'll keep running it again as many times as it needs to. So go ahead and practice with your do while loops. Um, they're pretty simple if you already know the while loop. And once you've done that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. 